Hello and welcome to Hairdressing Live. I have such a special guest with me today. Um, we've been, we've had her on our list to get her on the platform for many, many, uh, for all year actually, for many months. Um, and I'm delighted to have her with us. She's so much knowledge and I'm picking her brain just before we go live here already. Um, so I, I'm, I'm super delighted to be able to have Liz McKeown with us today and have her perform her course with us um, at 3.30. But before we go live with the course, we wanted a, a little chat with Liz and get her on and tell us uh, a little bit about welcome anyway, firstly. Well, it's my pleasure to be here. You know, okay. I'm, I'm well done you on Hairdressing Live. Uh, thank you very much. <laughs> Um, it, we, we were just chatting there a second ago. There's so many uh, plates spinning when, when, when we're doing these things, and it's because uh, it's live. It, there's no room for error, type of thing. But there's always seems to become a few errors every every now and again. So we are we are working with with our, our software to get them better and everything. But uh, um, listen, tell us anyway, Liz, um, about you and your career, and tell our viewers for some of them that may not know you. You know, tell us about who you are and what you're about and you know what you're doing for the industry right now okay well my name is liz mckeown i'm irish based in dublin but my business now takes me all over the world which is terrific and i set up my first business in 1989 it was a little health club in rat mines and that was my that was my learning ground really and then i've had a few different businesses along the way my background which is why i call myself beauty business expert my technical background is in beauty but i now work in in hair and beauty and spa in nails and makeup in any of the in any of the hands-on services and so i've had a distribution company i brought the first day spa into ireland i brought the first spray tan machine <laughs> into it's ireland oh yeah and then um then i set up a small salon um, it always aggravated me that my customers came to me for services and they went elsewhere for their retail. So my last salon was a small skincare salon where I really focused on increasing retail and getting my customer to understand they could get an entire service with us. And it was terrific because I broke that, I broke that mould that clients came to us and went to the department stores for their products and actually ran a business where 70% of my turnover came from retail, which was unheard of. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. Do you know what? Be be before you go yeah. in, it, it, it's that. I just wanted to say, because I get super yeah. excited about this, so you, yeah. your first business, I'm sorry to cut across yeah. you, but your first business, before you opened that, where, where were you in your mindset? Did you always want to open up a business? Did you, I mean, where, did you have any formal education behind that? Did you just leapfrog into it, basically? Um, no, I came from a self-employed background, okay. and I had a father who kept saying, you know, you, you have to open up, you have to open up. Okay. Um, I did business before I did beauty, so I did business, and then okay. I had a job, and, and, but then beauty was always at the back of my mind, so then I trained in beauty, and then I had a few jobs along the way. I'm going back to 1984 when there were very okay. few jobs, mm -hmm. and I worked in the large multinational skincare houses, and I worked in pharmacy, and I worked in franchises, and then eventually my father just said, look, you're, you're, you're going to set up by yourself, you just have to. To, because he, I think he could see that I had the potential. I, I could never see it um, myself. Was he a mentor to you? No, not particularly. Mm. Um, he watched me mm. and the first business that I opened in Rat Mines, the only advice I got from him, and I'll always remember it, was I asked him, he came from the building trade and I asked him just to have a look at the building before I opened, mm. before I signed on the lease. And all he said to me was, child, can you get the customers here? Okay, yeah, and yeah. I said, yeah, I think so. And so he that's said, ultimately, isn't that's it? That's ultimately what it's about. Can you get the customers? Can you retain them? And that, that was the only business advice that I got. Can you get the customers? But it has, it has remained in my mind in every business that I opened along the way. Can I get the customers? Can I get the customers? Can I get the customers? So I think the, the business acumen was always there. Yeah. But it doesn't make it easy. Business is not easy. Business is tough. It's a lonely place. It can be very lonely. It can be very isolating, which is why I think forums and platforms like you have here with Hairdressing Life, where people can collect and gather information and, you know, and, and interact with one another, is just invaluable. Because you're right it can be quite lonely and it can be quite isolating. Do you know what, it's, it's, it's great for us to be able to share the, I mean, even have you on and, mm -hmm. and just, uh, you know, go, go back yeah. and forward. And yeah. For me, even personally, to talk to you, but even for us to broadcast mm -hmm. it live and yeah. share so much information. Yeah. I, mean, I always, I'm about giving information out there, yes. giving information out there. Yeah, it's, it's there to be shared. It's there to be shared. Yeah. Isn't it really? Yes, yeah. yeah, we have to. But yeah. I, I think we can all learn from each other. I said it earlier on in our class there, it's like something where we wanted to, not, I mean, at first we thought, oh, we could do it as a David Gavey group and just broadcast this live. And I was like, no, I don't mm. know. it's not just about us. It's about the industry. It's yeah. about sharing ideas. Yeah. You know, listening to your mm -hmm. information, listening to different salon groups and businesses. Yeah. And oh, 
It's, it's, it's amazing to be able to put everybody together in one, on one platform, I guess. Yes. But tell me, you, you're saying 70% of your uh, business was retail. 70% of my turnover was retail. That's incredible. Completely, That's, yes. Yeah. So what it's I learned... 20, 80, isn't it? Really? Yes, that would be good. Yeah. <laughs> but what I actually learned was um, when, when my column is full, it's full. I, you know, unless I stay open longer or charge more money, I can't take, I can't take a fit in any more customers. Mm -hmm. But what people don't understand is that retail is limitless. Yeah, it's unscalable. Basically. So it's the icing on the cake. Now you must get your foundations right first of all. So that's really how my business today evolved. And one day, my my skincare rep said to me one day, Liz, I wish you would just teach other people to do what you do. Okay. That's how and it came about. And when I meet her now, I say, see, that was all your fault <laughs> Look what wow. you got me into. But m interestingly enough, my response back to her was, but does everybody not know, not do what I do? And she was saying, no, they don't. And that comes back to your point, just how isolating and lonely it can be. I just assumed everybody out there was doing at least better than I was doing. Certainly not the same as me. I just assumed everybody, everybody has this thing cracked. Yeah. But I think you can be your whole life cracking it, really, so can't you? You packaged all your thoughts and put it into, I mean, you, uh, you do coaching. I do well, coaching. Which is great. Yeah. But before we get into that, actually, you uh, you did a. I, I seen you went out there to help businesses turn businesses around with a two hundred pound uh, uh, budget to turn them into a profitable business. How did that go for you? That went incredibly well. Um, I do a lot of work in the UK, and last year I made a pilot TV program called the Two Hundred Pound Salon turnaround where I put my neck on the chopping board and said give me a salon right? yeah give me a salon and I I will double its profits in two weeks Jesus. so my salon. what I was so proud of it because we didn't double the profits we actually I'd never really heard the word before but we 12 folded the product or we've 12 folded uh, the, the profit we got the profit amazing. up 12 times so it proves by just and I suppose that's where my skill is I'm good at developing systems and processes when I see a problem mm. I don't go straight to solution I go what's the process to get mm. to the solution and that's really what I'm teaching all the time with with my coaching programs and with my workshops is what's the process to get you from where you are to where you need to be and I'm now very very close to actually the reason I made the pilot was to see if I could get a TV series so I'm fairly close to that because I want to teach more people what I do and, and, and broadcast it to a wider audience I mean yes that, that, that's invaluable yeah. I'll be yeah. tuning into that anyway yes that, you know. I hope so <laughs> um, look I mean you you have I mean you talk about process um, I mean, you have your book here. I have my book. Which I, I wanted to talk to you about. Um, but, I mean, I know myself, we're trying to put a book together. The process you have to go through. I mean, tell, tell, I mean, tell myself and tell our viewers. I mean, what, what, when, when do you do this? Do you do it after hours? Could you have a full-time job? Do you do it before work, after work? When, when, well, when do you writing the book, you know, my head used to hurt. Yeah. <laughs> it used to actually get sore. Um, when I decided um, to do the work I do, um, part of the reason I did it was because I had my difficulties along the way and there was never anybody there to help and when I went and you know get business consultants in they didn't understand our industry and our industry mm. is different I think because it's so labor intensive it is different to other industries and there was never anybody there to help and that's part of the reason I decided to do what I do now and that all sounded very well but and I'm working at this now for over 10 years but nobody heard of Liz McKeown 10 years ago mm. so it was very difficult to get started like any business, yeah. it's always difficult to get started. So I was very fortunate insofar as a couple of the trade magazines gave me columns. And I'm very disciplined. And I thought, well, if they're giving me a column, I have a responsibility to always deliver on time and always deliver new material. So for seven years, I wrote columns for a magazine. Every single month, I never missed a deadline. And about seven, well, a few years ago then, my, my editor said to me, look, Liz, I can't keep giving you the space. We've got to, we've got to keep giving it now to, to the advertisers, which is yeah, fair enough. Yeah, yeah. And she was feeling awful asking me, but I said, look, you've done me the biggest favor you can. And that was October. And I said, Melissa, I promise you, I will send you my book in, in wow. April. So I gave myself a few months to write the book. But I had a lot of the material already written because I okay. took all the columns. Every yeah. column I wrote, I used to say over the years, someday this will be a book. Yeah, okay, so it's a multi So it took me seven years of writing articles and articles. And then in 2015, I took one month off in February and sat in my office every night at 12 o'clock for a month. 
<laughs> and wrote the book. Wow, wow. So I had a lot of the material, but still writing it was a big, big exercise. And again, this is the book. Yeah, wow. and I'm really proud of it. I'm sure you are. When, when was this completed? 2015. I got, I got on my editor is in, is in the thank you page where I said like thank you to Melissa, um, the editor, and I yeah. So I, I launched it in May 2015. Yeah. Wow, I, do you know what? I, I need to get myself one of these. I'd be lying to say I've read it, but I haven't read it. Um, you don't have an audio book as well, do you? I do. do yes. You? I. <laughs> and that audio, right? <laughs> this is available. Well, it's on my website, but it's also available on Amazon. But a Kindle version is available on Amazon. But I also recorded it, so I have it as a set of CDs, so that oh, people can just really? play it in the car. Amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Passive time. I'm all about that. Mm. On the way to work. Back after work as well. Yeah. yeah, and I know we live in a very technical world, and, and people say to me, "Why have you got CDs?" And I say, "No, hairdressers, beauticians. We 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 we're not that technical. We like we like the CD. So it's <laughs> it's, it's it's available. Yeah, it's available on a, a CD set. Amazing. Mm. I to totally use that. Yeah. Um, because I I find it reading sometimes hard. Um, and you're tired. To, yeah, it's good. It gets um to, to, to go through books. My, yeah. my my partner would be laughing at me. She reads and eats books up, but uh, yeah, I find it a little bit more difficult. Well, with that in mind, I designed the book so that you can read it from cover to cover, or you can just pick it up. And I have it. You know, it's very well. You know, I got a really good designer, so it's colourful, really and you can you can do exercises in it, so you don't have to read it all in one go. You can just pick whatever challenge you have, go to the page. To solve it. <laughs> Listen, there was one question that we wanted to ask. I mean, what, what advice would you give a new business owner starting up in this market now? Because it changes, it evolves, right? I mean, yeah, evolves. and it's moving at a fast pace now. Um, and I think the social media aspect is brilliant because it's great to help with marketing, but it's pressure as well. It's, um, you know, you've got to get to market quickly. Um, I think my biggest advice would be. And what I'm going to talk about today is how to mind your business, whether okay. it's a new business or whether it's an, uh, an established business. We all get very excited about our technical work and we love our technical hands-on work. But you know and I know at this stage, business won't survive if you don't mind the business. Mm -hmm. So I would say to somebody new, get your team in around you. You're not an accountant, find an accountant. Yeah. You're not an insurance yeah. broker, find an insurance broker. Yeah. Yeah. Find me or an equivalent of me, find okay. a mentor because at times you're going to need somebody to hold your hand. So get, get your mentor, yeah, totally. um, get your marketing person. You know, I still go back to what my dad said to me, can you get the customers? Yeah. Um, and then, um, so that's your external team. So get your external team positioned um, that they're brilliant at what, you're, what is it your forte, and then get the very, very best team around you and go from there. But no point in starting a business unless you learn about the business would be my fundamental starting point. I know I had so many more questions, but I know we're, we're, we're limited with time as well, so we need to move on. But you, I'll be back. Yeah, you come back. <laughs> but uh, do you know what? I mean, I, a lot of the information, a lot of the questions, realistically, I think you're going to answer in this presentation yeah. anyway. And I think I that's the f f f m most important yeah. part of this. So guys, if you, we're going to have to wrap up now, um, but we're going to get ready for the live class at 3.30 today. So uh, please tune in. If you can go to hairdressinglive.com and you can purchase Liz's um, class, which is going to be going live in about 15 minutes. Pardon me? The link is in the comments, I just got told there. So, uh, so you, can, you can click on the link and purchase and get lifetime access to Liz's course um, today. Anyway, so, and please indulge in the virtual classroom that we have as well. So ask questions and feel free to post in, okay? Look forward to, uh, listen, I look forward to getting you set up now. Anyway, thanks for joining us anyway. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye now.